exclusive update. Remember Ms. Dunlap, okay? She was physically assaulted by law enforcement, had committed no crime. We now have the other video they did not want us to have initially. Here it is. Okay. You ready? Okay. Now hang on. Grabbing my arm. Hang on. Let, let, let her go. She ain't going nowhere now. Look. Let me go. Okay. And now. I'll get the f out. Okay. Step back. And Don't let her start. Start. I'll do right okay. Now. Step okay. Out. It now step out. Is. Okay. Now and step you're out not getting it because I know I haven't did it. Okay. Let's step out the car. Okay. How many times have I asked you not? Please to? let go of me. Stop. What are you doing? Let go of me. Let go of me. Let go of me because I haven't. Okay, stop, stop resisting. Stop resisting. Ma'am, give me my phone. Stop resisting. Give me my phone. Ma'am, stop. Give me my phone. Stop resisting. Y'all are hurting me. Okay, stop. stop. Y'all are hurting me. Don't let me go so I can go up. I'm going to let you go. Okay, dude, let me go so I can throw the up. I'm holding you up. I don't need you to hold me up. Oh my God. Why are you doing this? Why are y'all doing this? You started with me. For nothing. You came over here with me. Ma Why am I being charged with? We are investigating you trespassing on this property. <laughs> but I know. Okay. <laughs> and you have resisted, delayed, and obstructed our investigation. Okay. And resisted while Sorry, we were trying to get you out of the car. Okay. I do not. She never was charged. She never was taken to the jail. She was cited on the scene, not charged, but cited by law enforcement for resisting arrest, even though she was not under arrest. How does that work? Remember, she was not trespassing. She was there because she's a property manager for that private property. She was supposed to be there. Now, later, the spin of their story was they were looking for a suspect. They never said the suspect matched. Her description, they, according to the post narrative, simply wanted to know if she knew anything about the mysterious suspect they were looking for. But did you hear that in the video? Remember, I read that report in our previous story about this, and it was very clear that this was a spin to the original story. If they were actually trying to find out if she knew somebody, which is insane to treat a citizen in that manner. If they were actually trying to find out if she knew somebody, why did they not ask her? She did nothing illegal, she was not trespassing, she was doing her job, she was on property that was private and she had access to. Guess what, based on the laws of that state, the police officers are the ones who trespassed illegally. Yes, the police officers are the one who physically assaulted her illegally. And the police officers are the one who in violation of civil statute and in violation of court uh, rulings, they said she had to show ID. It is not a stop and ID state, she committed no crime, she was right. Remember on the show, she told us this happened to her and many did not believe her. Here's what she said. After they were trying to put me in handcuffs, uh, the one detective that you see actually on my recording, she was trying to take my phone out my hand. So it was literally, she's literally trying to wrestle me to take my phone out my hand to stop my recording. Um, they put me in handcuffs, threw me up against the trunk of the car. And after that, um, I started hyperventilating so bad that I started vomiting. She was panicking. She was panicking as many of us would do in a situation like that on our jobs. There was no reason for her to have an interaction with law enforcement. They had no justification for it whatsoever. Let's put a picture up, okay? Now, remember, Miss Jelana Dunlap was not charged with a crime, was yanked from her car, slammed against her own trunk, handcuffed. She hyperventilated. She vomited, the body cam confirms everything she said in our exclusive interview right here on Indisputable. Ms. Dunlap was taking photos of trash on a field 
for her employer, a property manager as well. She told the police this when they questioned her. Attorney Harry Daniels, civil rights attorney, spoke with Indisputable directly, said, and I quote, I think what it boils down to is these were overzealous, intimidating law enforcement officers who on a rural road in Fayetteville, North Carolina, assaulted and intimidated this young lady. She refused to give her ID. She already identified herself, but North Carolina is not a stop and identify state according to attorney Harry Daniel. We confirmed he is correct. Here's the body cam footage of the female detective. Now watch this, the female detective, her name is Amanda Bell. Officer Bell becomes angry when she learned that Miss Dunlap complained about the treatment. Here it is. She's not upset at the situation, she's more upset, unfortunately, at Bell than anybody else. And how, how she was removed from the vehicle. Oh, you get your camera on there, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. don't worry about that. I get a, a full frontal shot, all right? Okay, here are your car keys. Do you need anything else from me, ma'am? Okay, now, I would say be careful driving out because they're at home. I they're letting her go. They're letting her go, no charges, no resisting arrest. I thought that's what you said she did, resisted arrest. Where's the obstruction of justice charge? When the supervising officer came, the supervising officer said, you gotta let her go. She did nothing wrong, she did nothing illegal, okay? Um, let's put up the steal of Detective Bell, who was grabbing Miss Dunlap by the forearm, and this was while Miss Dunlap was still in her seat belt. A public information officer, officer from the Fayetteville Police Department issued a statement and it goes like this. On September 6th, members of Fayetteville Police Department's violent criminal apprehension team attempted to serve arrest warrants for Joshua Page for assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill inflicting serious injury first degree kidnapping and felony conspiracy. During this, Page ran from officers into the wooded area in the neighborhood located near Thorndike Drive. Officers began canvassing the neighborhood when they observed Miss Dunlap's vehicle, full stop. If you are looking for such a dangerous person, Fayetteville police, if you're looking for such a violent criminal and you see a young, Black woman who's on her job by herself, not knowing what's going on. Why did you not act in a manner to protect the innocent civilian who could have been in danger rather than treating her as a criminal in your pursuit of another criminal that you proclaim on the record? Why did you treat her that way? Why did you treat her like she? Match the description of a male that you were looking for. It's utterly ridiculous to suggest that somehow they should be justified in their actions due to an unrelated situation. If anything, if anything, she should have been protected. Think about it in this context. A young white woman working at her job, she's a property manager. There's a dangerous person on the perimeter somewhere. Maybe on the property, maybe not. And they see this person, do you think they treat the young white female the same way they treated her? There's more. Let's put up the team that she has now obtained. Ms. Dunlap's legal team includes civil rights attorney Harry Daniels on the left and Carnell Johnson on the right. Daniels refuted the department's explanation for Dunlap's harsh treatment by saying, and I quote, it absolutely was a cover, meaning a cover story. And there's no report of anything. They have filed uh, an information request, no report of this. But even if that wasn't a cover, they still violated the rule of law. They established who this girl was and was not the person they were looking for, period. They knew she was not the person. You know what this came down to? Let's put this person in their place. Let's make an example out of this person. You mean to tell me, detective, officer, sergeant, supervisor, that you were in pursuit 
of a dangerous criminal based on your own words from the police department. You were in pursuit of a dangerous criminal and you stopped that pursuit to harass a property manager who had nothing to do with a criminal act whatsoever. You paused your entire day in order to do this. It is insane. But once again, the bias continues to permeate. We will follow this story as the lawsuit goes forth.